Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Ephraim Grace. Another day, another plant to discuss. Ito na naman ang inyong hardinerong kapitbahay na sasabing, tara, usap tayo. Hi guys! So buhay! Welcome back to our channel. This is Ephraim and you're watching Planting with Ephraim Grace. Pag sinabi natin endemism, these are plants that are only found in some areas or limited in some areas lamang sa buong mundo. And one of those plants that I'm going to introduce, introduce to you is a native and endemic to the uh, to the country of Madagascar. Ito ang tinatawag natin, Aluja procera. Okay? This is also known as the octopus tree, Madagascar ocatilio, Madagascan ocatilio, African ocatilio. So this particular plant is an origin of southern and southwestern Madagascar area. So the habitat and ecology of this one, as you can see, is this one is a thorny plant of Madagascan spine forest. This is found in the semi-island or uh, semi-arid uh, semi island in the southwest uh, bedrock or uh, in, so in the southwest bedrock. Usually, mga sandy soil yung naandon. And sometimes, as you can see. Um, uh, these are areas kung saan walang masyadong rainfall within the year. So, hindi siya nagkakaroon ng any rainfall. And the good thing about this one, it is well adapted to that kind of environment. Na kahit siya ay hindi klase ng cactus kung saan nag siya ng tubig, it could really so, uh, survive the drought of that particular area. So, wala siyang storage tissues. Ibig sabihin, unlike other cactus na malalaki yung kanyang trunk, uh, ito, hindi. Walang ganun. Okay? Walang, wala siyang storage tissues na pinatawag. So, um, this one is a native habit of aluja which actually uh, resembles to a shrub-like tall trees, like plants. So, ibig sabihin, uh, para siyang shrub lamang. Uh, as you can see, this one, uh, nagbabranch siya. Pero actually, ito, uh, hindi siya nagbabranch in a, um, or very limit yung, yung pagbabranch niya in its natural habitat. Okay? So, uh, this one also resembles primarily dun sa tinatawag nating uh, mga halaman na uh, very, ano, very susceptible or very, very tolerant dun sa mga dry seasons. Kasi as you can see, yung kanyang uh, dahon is quite small or ovate na maliliit and it could really um, reduce the amount of perspiration or water evaporation dun sa pinaka plants natin. So, as you can see here, this one, this plant is a spiny type, shrub-like structure or shrub-like plant. So, meron siya mga spines. Um, tapos, uh, it has an occasional branching. Ito, equational branching. Pero usually kasi ito, pag umaakit to, isang branch lamang siya pataas. It is an upright type of plant. And this one looks like a crown of thorns. So in uh, in a in a household, this one uh, this one could grow up to 1.5 to 3 meters sa loob ng bahay. Pero sa kanyang environment, it could grow up up to 18 meters tall. So ganun siya ka, kataas sa isa kanyang natural environment. So when this plant matures, the tendency of this plant is maging woody yung kanyang pinaka stem. Pero habang siya ay bata pa, so this one uh, is as a uh, medyo ano siya fleshy pa yung kanyang uh, kanyang branch or yung kanyang kanyang pinaka bush so um meron siyang tinatawag nating mga uh, mga mga areas kung saan as you can see the stem of this one is kind of woody tapos meron siyang thorns um syempre as you can see yung kanyang mga dahon dito is nakak nakapalibot dun sa kanyang pinaka branch okay uh, the color of the of the stems is actually uh, white, parang bone white ang kanyang itsura, ang kanyang characteristics. And bukod dito, ay, ito ay uh, parang may mga uh, scales na, na structure. Na, na, na This one gives a unique characteristics of this plant. So, um, at the center of it, makikita natin yung mga outgroup nung kanyang maliliit pang dahon yung kanyang axial part, yung kanyang pinaka-apex. Okay? That resembles primarily na para siyang ano, yung kanyang mga, yung kanyang structure ay parang mga half-open na squid arms, kung baga. Okay? So, 
Uh, the leaves is small, oval, and rounded green succulents. Tapos, uh, it buds dun sa pinaka-trunk niya. Uh, usually, the size of the leaves is 1 to, two, to 5 centimeters long. Okay? So, uh, what happened here is, sa lengthy dry periods, the tendency of this plant is uh, magda-drop yung kanya mga leaves. Pero during the time na uh, meron tayong tinatawag na medyo maganda yung uh, rainfall, meron siyang enough rainfall at saka medyo mainit pa rin, doon siya nagkakaroon ng mas maraming mga mga dahon. Okay? And that particular period uh, definitely gives us the very nice structure or very nice foliages for this particular plant. Now, this plant also has some flowers. Ang kulay ng flower natin dito ay yellowish white. Okay? So, yun yung kanyang, uh, kanyang bulaklak. And uh, the mature specimens is uh, taller than 3 meters. Tapos, separate yung male and female plants. So, yun ang problema natin once we have the plant na isa lamang. Kasi, we really don't know if this plant is a male or a female. So, kung meron lang tayo isang variety or isang klase ng male, so, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng success in terms of its propagation pagkagamit tayo ng mga seeds. Okay, kasi nga, kailangan natin ng, ng pollination. So, okay, kailangan natin ng uh, exchange of the pollen. Now, kung ito naman ay babae, ganun din naman ang mangyayari. Wala kasi mag uh, mag ma magpa-pollinate doon sa ating, uh, o yung walang ipapollinate na, na walang pollen na magpa-pollinate doon sa ating uh, of, uh, uh, female flowers. Now, um, so what is now the best thing for this particular plant para siya ay mag-propagate? Of course, we could use here yung mga stem cutting. So, for example, this one, pwede siyang i-cut. Okay, pwede siyang i-cut. Okay, so um, in terms of uh, cultivation and propagation, so this one is widely cultivated now sa mga household. Okay, um, luckily nga lang ako, siguro bago yung pandemic, um, nakabili ako ng ganitong klase ng plant in a, siguro medyo mas mababa ang presyo from now. Kasi ngayon, medyo mahal, mahal na siya. So, in this one, ganito pa lamang kalaki. So, ganito, yung from, from the time na nag-branch siya, yung support na nag-branch siya, I bought this one ng na, mga nasa 700 pesos already. So, ngayon, I really don't know the price. Siguro, nag range siya ng mga nasa 1,000 plus. Okay, yun yung kanyang pricing. Kaya ganun siya ka expensive. Now, in terms of the exposure, kailangan natin to ilagay sa full sun. Okay? Uh, pero kung sa loob ng bahay natin, we have to make it sure na meron tayong mataas na light, la, lighting. Okay? So, masyadong uh, exposed talaga siya sa, sa ilaw talaga. And uh, the soil, as you can see here, I use here the well-drained type of soil mix. Okay? So, kung kita naman ninyo, this is a well-drained type of soil mix. Mas marami yung kanyang pumice rocks. And there is uh, what they call now yung mga tatawag natin konting mga humus rocks here. Uh, also, I put some um, granulized type of uh, fertilizer, okay? Um, anyway, we're going to talk about that later. Now, in terms of um, humidity, kailangan ito ng pre-circulating air. So, talaga siyang designed para sa isang open area, okay? So, kailangan pre yung kanyang uh, air circulation. Now, in terms of watering, you have to allow the plant or the soil to dry up before we water it thoroughly. So, kailangan natin makita na talagang uh, mad, uh, dry na dry na yung ating soil. So, paano natin malalaman? So, so, in my case, I usually hold my plant na pag dry kasi ang ating uh, soil mix dito, um, the tendency is mas magaan, mas magaan yung pots, okay, pag hinawakan ninyo. Pero pag nilagyan ito ng water, so the tendency is now, medyo bumibigat yung tubig. So, we could really identify na, oy, teka lang, wala na siyang tubig or let's say dry up dry na siya so i can pwede ko na siyang lagyan ng tub, ng ng water ulit okay now um in terms of fertilization uh, ang recommended dito kasi is actually uh, you could use the granulized or kung gagamit tayo ng liquid fertilizer yung one quarter of that should be diluted in water yun ang ngayon ay pandidlig natin sa ating plant na ito okay so in terms of the temperature, so 20 degrees to 30 degrees Celsius, yun yung pinaka best suited for this particular plant in terms of the temperature. Now, uh, in terms of um, uh, pruning or maintenance, so we could cut some of the parts of this particular plant. Siguro, 
um, the height for the indoor is 7 to 10 centimeters in height. That particular size will encourage now branching. So in this case, kahit hindi ko pa siya kinakat, nagkaroon na siya ng branching. So uh, maybe there's something happened during that time, o kaya siya nag-stimulate nag, nag para sa branching. Pero in this case, as you can see, ito wala siyang dahon, ito merong dahon pa. Kasi uh, uh, th that is uh, uh, just normal, especially if it experiences, syempre, yung medyo uh, matagal na hindi masyado siyang nadiligan. So talagang nawawala yung kanya mga leaves. So pag gano'n naman, na, na, na yung ating plants ay medyo uh, gano'n ang kanyang behavior, it means to say na medyo nagtitake rest muna siya or nagpapahinga. So pag nagpapahinga ang ating halaman, hindi natin siya masyadong dinidiligan. Konti lang, okay, or tama lamang. Para hindi naman siya mag-produce or hindi naman siya mag-encourage ng root rot. Tandaan natin na ang ating plant is a type of plant na talagang uh, very, ano siya, very tolerant siya sa, sa dry, dry or sa drought na tinatawag. Okay. Now, uh, what else? So, garden uses. This plant is a terrific to warmer, drier areas. And pwede natin siyang ilagay sa ating mga um, mga landscape na ang tema natin ay desert or uh, siguro yung mga mga type na medyo maraming rocks or or sand na na, na environment. So, yun, seriscape, if I'm not mistaken, yun yung pinaka ano natin. So, pwede natin siyang ilagay doon at pwede natin ilagay na, na landscape. Kasi maganda to, pag ito ay naging pillar, okay? Naging pillar siya, isang malaki siyang parang woody type, tapos marami siyang spine at marami din siyang dahon, okay? And um, also, uh, in, in Madagascar, this one is used as part of the building materials ng mga uh, gamit. So, kaya sabi ko nga sa inyo, nag-turn into wood siya uh, pag siya ay matured na. And yung iba, ginagamit siya as charcoal. So, pinanggagalingan din siya ng charcoal. Okay? So, again, the propagation for this plant is by seeds and cuttings. Okay? So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, since we have an absence ng isang gender ng plants na to, I think the best way para ako ay mag-produce ng additional plant of this one is through cuttings na lamang. Okay? So, if I have a chance na makakita ako ng male or female flowers, uh, kasi matagal na to sa akin, I have not seen it blooms. Wala siyang bulaklak. Uh, I really don't know why. Siguro the temperature and the condition is not favorable for it to flower. But I will give you enough feedback kung magkakaroon. Okay? So, I think that's all folks. You're watching Planting with Depth and Grace. Please watch and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to visit our epic page, Si Maria Gracia Tanglihim Nardin. See you again next time for another plant, another things to discuss about. Okay? Uh, with that, thank you very much and goodbye.